What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so we're in Celestion Town, and uh, we need to heal our Pokemon. Alright, Pokemon. Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead and get this, uh, yeah, let's get this whole healing factor going right here. Look at that, we're getting healed. Yes. Now, we're on egg alert. We don't have a Pokemon with a flame body, so this is not going to be easy or anything like that. So, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be spending some time over in Salacion Town. It is home to the daycare, it is home to a lot of things, and uh, yeah, in our last episode, uh, Toothless evolved. To my surprise, it was just the funniest thing ever. You guys should have seen my, uh, you guys should have seen my face. You can actually see my face and stuff. So, let's go right ahead and grab some more items right here. Some more berries, I should say. And if there was a little something that bothered me just right now is the Pokemon are in the way. I'm like, come on, guys, get out of the way. Seriously, get out of the way. I didn't know I was that strong to, like, push them out of the way and stuff. So, there you go. We get ourselves some more uh, berries. And, uh, let's see. We talked to this guy. Your encounters with Pokemon can be considered your shared history. This here is the Poketech app called Pokemon History. Use it to see your history of your Pokemon catches. And there you go. This will tell us the history of uh, how we captured Pokemon and all that stuff. Okay, so talk to this lady. Every Sunday, I visit the Lost Tower. It is Saturday, I think. Probably. Right now? Yes, it is Saturday. And I am the Pokemon Nursery Man. We t we look after the precious Pokemon of other trainers. If you'd like us to take care of your Pokemon, have a word with my wife. This is the lady to go to if, you know, you have some kind of dealio for uh, raising Pokemon, breeding Pokemon, that whole shebang. I think I have a, uh, a ditto in my PC somewhere. All right, let's see. Every so often, eggs will be found at the Pokemon Nursery. And they're found without anyone knowing how they got there. I think we all know how. Is someone leaving them there? Yeah, a, a Pokemon stork. Huh, they say no one has ever seen a Pokemon actually lay an egg. So it hasn't been proven that Pokemon actually lay eggs. It's the Pokemon stork. I'm just saying. Anywho, let's go right ahead and uh, move on right here. I don't want to talk about the birds and the bees when, you know, the kids don't know what the birds and the bees are birds and bees okay so if we go into this house right here we're gonna be finding ourselves this guy talk to him he's gonna be like oh welcome you saw the notice outside about us hiring right is that a pokedex there then you must know professor rowan you're just a pokemon searching expert we've been looking for i want you to bring me a hoo hoo you must bring it today or we're not going to be able to try to run our main article remember it has to be today before the date rolls over i'm not doing that I am not doing that. Okay, so talk to this guy. The Sinnoh Region's newspaper is tiny, but it has many fans. That newspaper is printed right here. Where? I, I, yeah, they, they need to improve on that stuff right there. Okay, so let's move on. As you guys can see, if you go through here, there's going to be a small maze where you can find some different houses and all that stuff. And we're going to go into this house. We're going to actually go into every single other house just to see what's up. And... Here we're going to find these two ladies. Your Pokemon has a lax nature. Did you know that the Pokemon's nature determines how it will grow? Yes. Thanks to you guys. That's why I say that, you know, if you guys want to comment down below to teach me some stuff about Pokemon that I don't know, I learn more from you guys rather than you guys learn from me. I'm just playing the game. I'm enjoying it. I have gotten a lot of comments like, hey, you don't know anything about Pokemon. I play the games. Sue me. Now, if you talk to this person, there's always been a lot of Pokemon in this area, even in the olden days. They say they were big Pokemon ranches around these parts. Okay, Pokemon ranchers. Pokemon ranchers! That should be a TV show. Uh, let's see. What if we go right here? No, that's not going to let us go through. And this one will take us not here. But I do believe that there is a house here that will actually give you an item and well that is the only house so we're gonna have to go all the way back just to make sure we take care of all this stuff right here already Pokemon ranchers gotta collect them all let's see right here okay come on we're gonna go here we're gonna go here and we will enter this house let me enter you okay 
Alrighty, so if you talk to this person right here, she's gonna be like, my son just loves those nearby ruins. If you don't mind, can you show him the Pokemon you catch in the ruins? That is a, that, 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 that is a very good request. And uh, I will be doing that. Now, let's see, we have to get to the ruins somehow. And it looks like to me, we have to go around yet again. So, yes, we're gonna have to do that. And uh, look at this, look at this. Gabite or Toothless is anime running. If you guys don't know what anime running is, that's what he's doing right now. So let's go right here. Oh, crap baskets. I went through the wrong area yet again. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, no. Yeah. Did I secretly do that so I can watch my Gabite get, uh, anime run? Probably. Look at that. He's anime running. He's teleporting. This is pretty awesome right here. All right, we're gonna go to the very end now. There should be a reason, okay. I was about to say, there should be a reason why there's like an open area right there. Go right here. And what we're gonna do is bam. Go into the ruins right here. So before I do anything, guys, let me get a map out because <laughs> I need to find a way out here. Like this place is gonna be confused. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, we're back. So, we're going to be going into the Silesian Ruins, and uh, there is something very myste mysterious about this place. You will be able to find yourself some unknowns, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, if you capture every letter of an unknown here, I believe two or maybe three brand new unknowns will be popping out. Now, what I have right here on my phone is the map of the Silesian Ruins. That way it can lead me to the best places possible. So what we're gonna do right here is I'm gonna put on repels because I am in no mood to be getting attacked by any of these Pokemon right here now. If I can only find these goddamn repels. Uh, oh yeah, there we are. There you go. Let's go right ahead. And uh, before we do anything, let's go ahead and read this. Top right, lower left, top right, top left, top left, lower left. So it's basically leading you to a grand prize of sword. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my map right here because, yes, I, I don't remember a lot of stuff, guys. So if we go right here, you're going to be finding yourselves a repel. That right there is very useful because, kind of like me, I may forget a, a thing or two. Now, let's see. If you go there, there you're not going to find anything. But So we're going to be going up here. This will lead you into the next room. And... Uh, Going up here, you're really not going to find anything. So there are two empty rooms. What you need to do is you need to go down to the lower left. And, well, let's see. Back to this guy. There's something really weird about these ruins. That's why I like coming here. But then again, come to my house later. I'll give you a ball capsule so you can uh, place stickers on it. Okay, so he's helping us out too, I guess. And we're going to go down here. And if you come over to this gentleman, he's going to be like, This place is teeming with unknowns! There has to be some meaning to this. The truth can be found. I'll start my search by battling you. Okay. All right. So, let's go and... Yes, I am dropping my phone everywhere. Excuse me just a sec, guys. Ah, I am battling this guy. And I got my phone. Oh, my God. Okay. So, here we are taking on a Geodude. And... And, uh, I gotta remember my my placing right here. There's no sim available. What are you talking about? Huh. All right, let's go right ahead. Let's finish this Pokemon off. Bulldoze attack. Now, I get the rock type capability is a little bit uh is a little it is weak against you know ground types and all that stuff. But ground and rock probably I don't even know. So here we go. Take it on a Bronzor. Let's go to Monferno Mon. Right here on Dragon Ball Z. I could be a, I, I, I could so totally be the narrator for <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, but then again, everybody could. I don't know if you guys can hear me or you know, uh, crunchy roll or something like that. Hey, I can do it. So there you go, guys. A uh, a, a friggin' uh, a flame wheel right there, and there you go. We're getting some more points, and well, he's gonna be coming out with a Geo dude. So let's go ahead and give Hydra a little bit of love. I haven't seen that guy in like two episodes, I guess. Probably, I don't know. Maybe two episodes. Yes, when I beat the the, the living tar out of our, bu our 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 good old buddy Barry. He's not our good old buddy. So let's go right ahead and let's go straight for a waterfall attack. 
And hopefully this Geodude has no sturdy or something. And no, it doesn't. Yes! Eat it! Gattaca. Alrighty. And we get more points. Another thing, too, that's really bugging me is the experience points. They... Yeah. <laughs> They're making it very hard for you to just, like, get experience points. Anywho, we're in the next room to this place, and there are two... Well, there is one room where you can actually grab an item, so we're going to go down there. You go right here, and you'll be able to get yourself an escape rope, which... Very useful again. And if you go to the top, the top uh, right corner right here, it will take you to the next layer. And... Let's see. You have to go top right. There's nothing in... There's nothing anywhere else. So, go right here. And this will take you here. Now, go down to the right-hand corner. And you'll be able to find yourself another item. And this right here, you'll find yourself a big mushroom. Which, I guess you could sell for big money and all that stuff. So, let's go up top. And if you go to the top left-hand corner. Before you do that, get a repel. You're gonna go right here, and this will lead you into this area now. Let's see, let me read this. Escape rope right there. Okay, so go down to the bottom left-hand corner right here, guys, and you will find four items. But first, let's read this. Uh, friendship all lies. What was that? Friendship all lies through other uh, lies to create something right, guys comment down below please help me <laughs> and alive okay so let's go right ahead and grab these four items right here you'll be finding yourself a nugget and I think you find yourself a rare candy right here yes you can um, I think there's a mine plate right here yes you can find a mine plate and the other one is gonna be an odd incense I believe so let's go ahead and grab that so as you guys can see, bam, we are grabbing ourselves an odd instance. Now, let's see. There are... There are... Well, there is one more room or extra room in this whole location. But we have to go to the Ruined Maniac's Cave in order to, uh, to, you know, to get there. So that will be way later on. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to be using a, an escape rope. And look at this. I'm like floating up in the air. And... Uh, Yes, we are free. Free at last! Okay, so... Let's go to that kid's house. I think... Well, yeah, he's gonna be giving us some, uh... He's gonna be giving us some, uh... What was it? Some stickers and all that stuff. Stickers are pretty big around here, I guess. That's not him. I think it's the kid right over here somewhere, so... Nope, not gonna use a repel. Let's go to the kid down to this house. There we go, there we go, and let's see, let's go right here, and what we will find is not that kid, oh god, we're gonna have to turn around again, so how are you guys doing, how are you guys enjoying this whole walkthrough, how are you guys enjoying my, uh, my new, uh, what was it, my new green screen, you guys can't see it, obviously, but Got myself an Elgato green screen. It's the best kind, and uh, yeah, it's working wonders right here. So let's go right here, here, and down here. And crap baskets. Oh wait, no, I got it right. I got it right, guys. I got it right. Okay, Sue. Let's see. There he is. Talk to this guy. He's like, I'm researching unknown. Unknown has a lot of different forms. Fascinating, isn't it? I'd love for you to show me unknown if you had any. Uh, yeah, we got no unknown. I thought he was going to give us some stickers. He lied to us. I can't believe people lie. They lie. Good gravy. Okay, so I guess that's pretty much it right there, guys. Anywho, stay tuned in the next episode. We're going to be going... Um, let's see. What does it say? We have to go to Veilstone City. So I will see you guys in the next episode as we get to Veilstone City. See you guys.